Good morning, family. Just coming out to do my morning check on the garden and to water. As you can see, it's starting to look like a nursery out here. I gotta get a lot of these plants in the ground. Let's check on my apple seeds. Look at that. Melons. I just put these two planters up yesterday. Plant them up with succulents. But I'm actually coming out to check on the vegetable garden this morning. <clears throat> okay, so these are all the seeds that I planted in my garden. As you can see, I used two different types of kale. I have the bush beans and the pole beans, the spinach. I did two types of watermelon, one cantaloupe. The honeydew melon was already a start. Got the radishes, the cucumbers, and the squash, the zucchini. I did buy most of my seeds after the shelter in place orders went out. So I pretty much just bought whatever brands were available to me at the time. Look at the size of that tomato plant. That is so beautiful. And this honeydew melon, wow. Got over here by the radishes and look at that. Looks like I'm going to have some nice radishes pretty soon. Beautiful little baby. These cucumbers look good. No tomatoes yet. Lots of buds, but no tomatoes. This ground cherry, however, stays loaded. Even the strawberries are starting to produce again. Look at that one down there. So it looks like I'm gonna have more strawberries. These peppers are amazing. Do you see that? I think he'll be coming off today. The size on that guy. I have two more on this one. They're a little bit smaller. But look at that. Those are just gorgeous. I did have cutworms going after my kale, but they seem to have left the remnant <laughs> of them alone. So this guy right here was really smooth. I'm looking at this piece of kale and I'm like, something just ate you all up today. So I'm going through and I'm trying to figure out where it is. Do you guys see it? Look at that. Yeah. It's gonna have to go. See that? These things will eat you out of house and home. And there's another one. These green beans are amazing. These are bush beans. Do you see how tall they have gotten in? Maybe I'll say, what is this, like a month we're at? I've got beautiful pink blooms all over them. So we should be getting some beautiful green beans pretty soon. It was kind of hot yesterday. Well, I say kind of, we actually hit about 101. 
So some of the leaves did burn. I was out here last night watering. But uh, they seem to have recovered pretty well. These guys are getting so tall. See these beautiful pink blooms? They don't have to be strong. This is just me. I kind of don't like messiness. So I do come out and probably every couple of days I add a layer of string between them just to keep them from getting all tangled up and laying on top of one another. I mean, it's kind of inevitable they're going to do it anyway. But it'd be a lot easier for me to get in there and pick once I start seeing production. Look at that. And this is what I always come out to see. What's left of my spinach. Cutworms have been taking a plant a day. Look at that. I think I'm missing probably eight plants down here. And every day I come out and there's another one that has been chopped down. Then I start digging around and what do I find? Cutworms. Sometimes I find them still on the plant munching away. Other times I gotta dig under the soil and I'll pull out a big fat one. The crazy thing is I've never even heard of cutworms until this year. So sometimes cutworms aren't that easy to see because sometimes they are really tiny like this one. I just found curled up next to the base of one of my spinaches. But uh, if you don't get them at this size, trust me, they'll get big and fat and they will mow your garden down. This one looks like a bronzed cut worm. So over here, I do have my pole beans. They're just getting a good start. They were planted about three, maybe two weeks after the bush beans. Zucchinis look like they're doing fine. I do have a pepper over here, banana pepper. It's my daughter's. Well, they're supposed to be my daughter's, but she's not out here taking care of them. And what is this? All right to get rid of that but so far the garden is looking good this morning everything looks nice and healthy probably harvest these bell peppers today check and see if any of the ground cherries have dropped I'll actually show you guys what I've been using for these cutworms and caterpillars because they were on everything. I mean, they were literally going to town on everything I had. I was coming out here picking these things off by hand every day. As you can see, they were going through the radishes for a while and uh, they've pretty much been leaving the radishes alone, but the last thing that I do have them on, like I said, is that spinach over there. They were even on the potatoes over here, and I did find quite a few good-sized ones in here, and I got those. Rosemary is beautiful. Nothing messes with it. I mean, absolutely no pest on that. The most I get on that are uh, spider webs. I'm constantly brushing spider webs off of it. But, uh, let me show you guys what I have been using for pest. 
All right, so the first thing that I did try was this Captain Jack's Dead Bug Brew, uh, the spray. And you can see all the things that it says that it kills. And I can honestly say I didn't have much success with this. So it goes on like a spray. Pretty much just kind of saturate the leaves, under the leaves, the stems. And um, I think if you had aphids or something like that, this would work pretty well. Um, but it didn't do much for me. So what I did do is I found, I was looking for diatomaceous earth. I couldn't find any. And I ended up buying this one. Now this one actually started taking care of the caterpillars and the uh, cut worms. It goes on like a dust. It kind of just, you squeeze it, it shoots out like baby powder. And you pretty much cover the uh, soil, especially around the base of your plants and any leaves or anything that you see them on. And you can reapply this. It depends on whatever vegetable or fruit you are applying this to. And it gives you a chart on the back as to how many days you have to wait, how many times you can apply this during a season, and you know when you can reapply it and how soon you can harvest and eat afterwards. This actually worked for me. This took care of most of the cutworms and caterpillars that I was seeing on my plants. Now these are all organic products. And then the lastly, I started using the neem oil. I saw a lot of products that had neem oil in them and they weren't working, but this, the actual neem oil that you have to mix yourself with water was actually working and all you do is pretty much you're just mixing a couple of teaspoons per gallon of water you're shaking it up you can add a little bit of like dishwashing liquid to help it break down even better to help it um, mix up better because you know oil and water does not mix but um, this once I started spraying this along with the powder um, is when I started having success. So I don't see all the green caterpillars, the little inchworms anymore. Um, the cutworms I'm only seeing on the spinach, as I said, but it's still minimal and with the potatoes. But yeah, those two products are actually working for me. So I came out here today to harvest these two peppers. These are a nice size. I did take the larger one yesterday but um, these two were the last two peppers on this plant and I don't have any new ones on here although I do have some buds up top and um, got a couple of flowers but there were no more peppers and I think it's because these two have been on here so long that the plant was pushing all of its energy into developing these two peppers so I went ahead and took them off now although I have harvested two off of this side as you can see they already have new ones forming in here and they have a lot of buds all over it. They're all down, even down below. So hopefully by removing these two peppers off of the other plant, it will start producing more for me. Look at that, nice size, those are beautiful. Those are gorgeous, nice and firm. And they smell so good, you guys, so fresh. Thank you all for joining me today. If you have any questions, please drop them below in the comment box. And I will reply to them as best as possible.